The doctrine of the Trinity is that God is not just one person. That's called Unitarianism. Trinitarianism says that God is three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, I think that this doctrine is right at the core of the Christian faith. It serves to distinguish Christianity from Judaism and Islam, which are both forms of Unitarianism. We believe that God is tri-personal rather than unipersonal. I don't think that it's necessarily essential to salvation, however. For example, I think that Abraham and Moses will be in heaven. They were saved, but they didn't believe the doctrine of the Trinity. They'd never heard of it. And similarly, I imagine there are people today, people on the mission field who hear the gospel preached over the shortwave radio, who place their faith in Christ and are saved, who don't understand or have an appreciation of the doctrine of the Trinity. And sadly, there may be people in our churches, frankly, who do not understand and believe in the doctrine of the Trinity. But nevertheless, they are believing in Christ as Savior and believing that He is divine, that He's the Lord. Um, and so I don't think that belief in the Trinity is essential to salvation. The doctrine of the Trinity, I think, lies at the core of Christianity because it explains to us who God is and what He is like. And if you deny the doctrine of the Trinity, you're probably going to be denying either the deity of Christ, uh, which would mean that you don't understand who He really is. You think He's just another human being like you, which is just utterly inadequate. You cannot worship Him if He's just a human being. That would be idolatry and blasphemy to worship Jesus if he's only human. And yet we are called upon to worship Jesus. He must be divine. Or the person might deny the person um, of the Holy Spirit. But then that again would be to deny one of the persons that God is and to deny his work in the world and in salvation. The Holy Spirit is absolutely essential to our salvation. It is he who draws us to God who convicts us of sin, and who regenerates us and brings about the new birth, who then indwells us and enables us to live the Christian life.